to start over. Oh, with. Sorry. So, so these are now these are all my numbers of what I just did. Correct. So we took we took averages of all the all the clubs you hit. Okay. So if we look at that, is there one circle there of the guy you'd want to choose as your partner? I'm gonna go. I'm going with the purple guy. Pink. Are you? You don't, you don't like the yellow guy better? A little tighter dispersion? Oh, yeah, well, I guess i go with that okay. one. Well, you take yeah, the purple they, guy. I'm going to take the yellow guy. No, I'll take the yellow guy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So remember we talked about the different weights. Right. Okay, so you see how the purple guy is actually the last one you hit. Okay. You said it was a little funky. So that was the lightest one. Yeah, it went forever. Right. So, but look at, look at all your shot dispersions, right? You got short and you got long, so no control. So okay. yeah, generate a little more speed, you hit it farther, no control. If you look at the yellow one, that was actually the heavier shaft. Okay. A little more in control, a lot tighter dispersions. Okay. Okay, so what, once we have which one's better dispersions, if we look at all of the results, actually the 95 gram you hit the farthest. Okay. And the 70 gram you hit pretty far, but big dispersions. Right. So too light. Right. No, there's no question. I don't like the light ones. When they felt like they were getting light. And basically the club I use now, I mean, I'm using uh, Dynamic Gold S300. Right. 120. 125 grams. Yeah. So what That's I. That's what I've used my whole career. I've never really. I've played some different things, but you're basically telling them, so did I hit. So I hit the 90 gram shaft better than I hit my. my you hit shaft. it. You hit it farther. No, you hit it further. Further, further yeah. not better. Okay. So which one did I? Now which which shaft? What was the best dispersion? So that was the the 5.5. Now now they're rated on that screen in terms of dispersion. So you okay. hit the 130 gram, which is closest to what you have. Yeah. The best. The best. As far as dispersion goes. Right. Yep. Which, quite honestly. Like you said, I know which one I want. Right. So, if, like I said, everybody's all about distance, but distance without control is no good. No. So, how about something we can control? So, you're still moving it pretty good, so we got to have a little bit of extra weight in there. Um, the shaft that you hit is probably a little bit softer than your current one, which is why we're seeing a little bit more distance gain. Yeah. So, if you look at yours, you had a 172 average carry. In the rifle that we hit, it has an average 183 carry. So not only do you hit it in a tighter, tighter dispersion, oh, so yeah. something a little softer, you hit it further. Further. Well, and you know the 5.5. Five, I mean, I, I have never scoffed at that. I mean, I've always been because I'm pretty smooth tempo. I don't load the shaft real hard. You know, I'm not like right. a down loader and all that kind of stuff. So for me. Every time I have played, they give me a little softer shaft, even in the driver. I like it better. I, it just feels better in my hands. Right. It doesn't get away from me because I don't load it real hard, mm -hmm. so it doesn't get jumpy on me at all. So I can play at a more, if you want to call it, kickier shaft, and I've never had any trouble with it. You know, right. Most of the time, flex is about feel. Yeah. It's not necessarily about performance. Yeah. Okay, so, so that's perfect. So there we are. So. I've got, so, I know pretty much the weight I need relative to to everything, and then it's right. just a matter of fitting whatever heads relative. Yeah. So to at that at that point, the big thing about what we do is heads aren't as important to us. Shafts more about our decision. Heads more about your decision. So as long as we're dealing with heads in the same category for ability level, they're all pretty similar. They're all going after some different things right, technology wise, right. but most of the time, if I put you in a tailor-made head versus a Callaway head that are at the same ability level with the correct shaft, You're gonna be pretty, they're going to be pretty close. Yeah. The, the big thing about what we do is we have a, all of the shafts we use are all aftermarket. The manufacturers don't offer these as stock items. Right. So I can now have you hit a Callaway head with a Mizuno head and a tailor-made head all with the same exact shaft where you don't get that opportunity to go into a store. Right. Right. Tailor-made only offers a couple stock options on steel. Callaway doesn't offer the same two steel options. Right. Mizuno, same thing. So that's the one thing is since we build everything here, we have the opportunity to put whatever shaft in whatever head. So it becomes kind of a visual thing is what looks good to you and yep. what feels better. So again, just, just summary wise. So summary wise relative to what we saw with me, 
just run through what you what you guys were looking at with me. Yeah, so for you, I would put you in a, a little bit heavier shaft, a okay. little more control, but a little bit softer flex than you're currently playing. We saw better dispersions and a little bit more distance. And so, you know, like I say, what's interesting is if I were to reinforce that over my entire career, every time <laughs> I went, guys got me clubs, and there were a lot of times they wanted me to try the lighter shafts, you know, go down to 95 gram, and I'd hit them, and I, yeah, I'd hit them further, but under pressure, I, I didn't feel like I had the control. So I've right. always stayed with a heavier shaft because for me, in, in the flex, seriously, I can make almost any flex work. Right. I mean, uh, it could be an X, an S, or an R. So it would be a 5-0, a 5-5, a 6-0, a 6-5. If the, if the weight of it's good for me, which you're just reinforcing that, I felt like I could play it. It's when the weight got where the club felt light that's when I struggled, especially under pressure. Right. Well, you start losing feel for where the club's at. Yeah. Kind of like the tennis ball, ping pong ball, right? And that's kind of think that would be fairly important to know where the club is. Right. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Actually, I would say it's more important to know where the face is. Really? Really. That's interesting. That's something I learned from you. That's an interesting concept. <laughs> face control. Wow. Why would you want to know that? <laughs>